Hey, what's up to YouTube? Um, so today I have Kamiki Backyard and Hawaii Hobbyist over here. Um, I wanted to do a trade with Hawaii Hobbyist. He's growing the same Dumbo um, guppies that I am. So um, he gave me a couple males and a couple females of his and I'm gonna give him a couple as well. Um, yeah, nice to have him here. This is the strain that we're tra um, trading. But um, I wanted to ask um, Hawaii Hobbyist, what, what kind of traits do you look for, for um, choosing your breeding pairs of this strain? Anything in particular? Yeah, I, I, I look for the, um, the large Dumbo ears and I look for the color in the Dumbo ears. I also look at the body, the, the colors in the body and then the fluorescent, the iridescence on their back. Oh, okay. What about yeah. the females? Anything special about the females that you try to look for? Yeah, I, the females that try and get the ones with more color in their tail and um, you know darker, um, bigger, um, darker and bigger dumbo ears. Mm. No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and I also have um, Kamiki backyard here. Do you Hi have, guys. Do you have any tips like how do you choose your females? Well, I think um, in general, I don't raise this strain, but in general, I guess. I look for certain body lines on the fish and by that I mean um, I look at the head conformation and I notice that for some strains of guppies uh, over time you know as people focus on the fins and the color they forget about some other things such as like the head shape mm. so I notice that some strains of guppies they they're plagued with the lips being um, more shortened so I look for that um, I look for the caudopeduncle being lengthy, so I know some some strains. The, the over time, the body of the guppies becomes more stubby. Uh huh. So I look for that, and then uh, of course all the other stuff. Straight spine. Look look at the fish from the top. Um, some people even look well. I've you know some strains they have like dark irises versus silver. So like the, the eyeballs. Yeah, yeah, just like the like that's the part right around the pupils. So oh, okay, okay. Yeah, like um, I notice here, here's this big one coming up in the middle. She has more of the silvery type uh -huh. uh, irises. Uh -huh. um, I don't know if this strain will and, have and it. And do you like you like that silvery stuff? Or? Yeah, I kind of like yeah. it because it's more bright. Oh, but okay. some strains, you know, it is darker. Mm. And um, and you know, so I look at that um, as well. I don't know if everybody or you know the standards, you know, are to look at that 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 concisely but um, uh -huh. I do okay cool and do you guys do anything special as far as um, trying to breed the guppies true like do you separate your your females and males yeah I do um, it's a it's to be honest it's it's a it's a lot of work um, and uh, but uh, you know I raise a lot less fish than both of you so I've been able <laughs> to so far keep ahead of it yeah uh, you get to focus more right you yeah more I can time. focus more uh -huh. but you know coming to your house this is a just a <laughs> it's an incredible experience and it's, it's very tempting to 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 get more tanks and tubs and <laughs> but, yeah, it's um, dangerous I'm gonna try and exercise some restraint here <laughs> uh, okay well right on guys thanks for coming over and um, taking a look over here hang out with us it'll be it's been a lot of fun today just talking fish um, with these two guys. Uh, Alright, thanks for watching. Thank you very much guys. Alright, laters. <laughs>